Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Monday morning, bright and early. Mind, body, and soul, daily discipline. I woke up this morning to a sound of a bird war. Crows, the sound of crows squawking. It, it was deafening. Woke up, didn't know what was going on. Had to go outside the backyard and see. I got lots of trees in the backyard and one of the trees over off the side of the house for the last six months, most of the year, there's been these little black birds that have lived at the top of the tree and they're real dickheads. Little black birds and they're real jerks and they terrorize the squirrels and the other birds. They've just taken over that one tree. The crows had enough. <laughs> these crows. They swooped in and killed, murdered. They killed all those blackbirds. Those blackbirds are no more. <laughs> the crows are out there in that tree right now squawking. It was brutal. Let's get into today's topic. I want to talk about stability. How do we get more stable in our lives? Stability is an important goal for everyone. You should be thinking about stability. Creating a more stable life is a conscious choice, at least for most of us. A lot of times if we don't make that conscious choice and continual course direction towards stability, we can veer off course towards instability. There's a lot of factors that make us unstable. This is why you have to make a conscious choice because you're going to have to get on top of your life in all kinds of different ways to be stable. Stability isn't just money. If stability was money, rock stars would be stable people. Most rock stars are not. I've known a few. Many actors and many rich people that you know, they're not stable. Stability isn't necessarily money. So let's just get into it. Let's chop it up and see what we can make out of stability. How do we become, become more stable? I want to be more st stable in my life. How do I become more stable? It's been one of the best things I've done for my mentality. Being stable. I, I've been homeless. I've lived reckless li a, a reckless life. I know what it's like to feel like I'm going to die every day. And that's legit. That's a, a weird ex existence to be under, to feel like you're going to die every day. I know what it's like to feel like SWAT teams are coming. And I lived as a fugitive for a long time and uh, know what it's like every day, all day, every day, for years in and years out to be worried about SWAT teams. Stability is really the ultimate goal. The first thing that I had to do in order to become a stable person was decide to make stability a priority. I did this when I was homeless. It's like I know guys that were in prison and they decided to make freedom their priority. They didn't make freedom their priority the day they got released, they made it while they were locked down in the hole. And when I was homeless, standing in food lines at five in the morning, and these stupid church people give me food, I would hate getting food from the church people. And only because they'd be so condescending. The church people treat you like you're such a low life. They are so judgmental and fake. I, but they had good food. I just try not to talk to them. But I had to sit down with myself and to kind of slap myself silly, really get into my own head and to be fed up with my lifestyle, to not to be able to tolerate another day of life on the streets. And when you can't tolerate something, it's, it's not that you can't take it anymore, because sometimes when you can't take it anymore, it's this extreme place of weakness where you're about to break. The rubber band is at its f 
furthest point, you know, most stretched out point. It's about to snap. That's a, I can't take it anymore. Lord, I can't take it anymore. That's what that is. I had to get to a point when I was just really dissatisfied. Where I was ready to fight. I'm not taking this shit anymore. Not another day of this shit. Fuck no. I'm doing this tomorrow. I, I felt like I was getting closer. Every day, I, I'll get off the streets tomorrow. I'll make this happen tomorrow. Fuck three months. Fuck two weeks. Tomorrow's my day. I became ready. The second thing I did when I got off the streets, and you can do this before you get off the streets, not that I'm making this video to homeless people, but when you're in an unstable position, you can make some of these decisions. You can decide to be stable when you're unstable. That's a shift right there. The second you've decided to be stable when you're unstable is a shift in your direction. But I established a daily program of dis a daily discipline program, mind, body, and soul. And I had some help. Well, my transition from being very unstable to being stable, I had some help. My brother was a lot more stable than me. And he was able to help guide me with some daily discipline, working out, eating right, curbing certain behaviors, g getting to bed at a somewhat decent time, just, just getting on top of things in a little bit of way and staying routine with that, repeating that day in and day out. And my life didn't consist of any sort of routine. When you're really unstable, you don't have a routine. Routine is an aspect of stability. I don't like to call it routine, because that sounds like a normal word, I mean a, a, a negative word, and it's a weird word to say. If you say it too many times, routine, 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 it, it almost sounds like some kind of French food. It becomes meaningless. I'm from the streets. In prison, we talk about a program. Prisoners who don't have a program go crazy. Those are the ones who end up going crazy, killing themselves, tapping out, smearing their own shit all over the fucking wall. They go nuts. You need a program. You need a daily program. It's important for stability. With your daily program, becomes an aspect of your stability where no matter what's going on in your life, you always can revert back to your daily chores, your daily routine. Here goes that stupid word again. Stay on your program and develop one. If you don't know how to develop one, I can help you. Another aspect of becoming stable, and this is important, is to stop doing drugs and alcohol, to stop chasing vice. Chasing vice will make you go broke. It keeps you weak mentally. It keeps you from addressing the problems that are causing you to drink, causing you to do drugs. Most people don't drink or do drugs or chase vice just because they're party animals. You may start off that way. That's certainly the way I started with, part, with, with doing that kind of stuff, just partying as a teenager. You find yourself 10 years in and you're still drinking every day, you're still doing lots of drugs, you're still popping them pills. What you're doing is you're medicating yourself. You've turned into a hospital patient. And now you're uh, a sick person who's medicating themselves. That's what you are. You're running every day that you get high. You run further and faster from dealing with your traumas and you, you just get weaker over time, you know, you, you can survive years doing that. I did years and years and years, decade. And you become weaker in your mind, in your body. Your finances slip away from you. Your family moves away from you. You lose every aspect of your stability. The, the, the more you chase vice, the more you disturb those calm waters. You create problems in your life. Another aspect of stability, which a lot of people have problems with, is capitalism. Now, I'm a capitalist. I own businesses. I've started many small businesses. I have owned probably more than 10 different businesses. I currently own two. I have to think about it, because I've owned three or four at a time. 
technically three if you count the handlebars. I separate my handlebar brand from my motorcycle shop. It has a separate business license, a separate company name. The handlebar brand is Classic Handlebars. And that's the way you see it advertised, and that's the way it is at the Harley Davidson dealerships. It's not Sinister City. I took Sinister off of the handlebar brand because I didn't want to scare away the, the old people. <laughs> the custom motorcycle shop is still Sinister. So technically, I have three businesses. You want to live simply. Living simply is an aspect of stability, so reduce your bills. Reduce your spending. Don't have dreams of big mansions and garages full of cars like Jay Leno or some of these celebrities you see. Every celebrity has a, a car collection. And a lot of people want to fantasize about that. I know rednecks who fucking have a hard time putting food on their table and they are standing in lines at food banks and they're on welfare and these guys will have six and seven and eight cars. <laughs> They'll have 64 inch flat screen TVs and they're eating rice and beans for dinner because that's all they can afford. I used to see this in the ghetto. I used to walk my dog down the street in South Central Los Angeles and see the fucking cars on the, on the, on the sidewalk. BMWs and $80,000 cars with $5,000 fucking wheel packages in South Central, the ghetto. I look down into people's apartments because I used to be a thief. And you have your windows open, I'm looking in. Motherfuckers, everybody, everybody had flat screens. And, I, and those things were expensive back in those days. And I was just like, you fucking people are, this is the poorest neighborhood in America. How come you all have $80,000 BMWs and flat screen fucking TVs and then sit there and complain about, oh, I'm so poor, oh, I'm so poor. <laughs> Learn to live simply. The last one can kind of be broken into two sections. It's kind of one thing. I wrote it down as two, but you want to find a stable support group. Unstable people, having unstable friends will help you to be unstable. If you want to be more stable, surround yourself with more stable people. You are who you hang out with. If you hang out with four losers, you're the fifth loser. You hang out with four successful people, you'll be the fifth successful person. You hang out with four stable people, you'll be the fifth stable person. Dump. I know it sounds rough. Dump those unstable friends. They may be sweethearts, but they may be holding you back. They may be going nowhere and doing nothing. Get rid of the go nowhere, do nothings. Stability is important. I can't stress it enough. Marinate on stability. How can I be more stable? Especially in these times that we're living in now. Thanks for watching.